Run. Run, Adam, run. Oh, no, no, no. Adam, please don't do this. He won't let both of us go. And it's all right. Because I found you. And you are loving. No, Adam! Another nightmare about Adam? I received the invite to the KSUH party. You should come with me. It'll help me get your mind of things. You know, it's been two months. You should get out and do something, you know, rather than just mope around. I will mope around for however long as I damn well please. So, I got up bright and early to queue for Tose at my favourite place near Teka. Is everything okay? I'm fine. Well, okay. Uh, so, breakfast? Mm. Uh, egg, plain, and my favourite... <laughs> when was the last time you tried on your suit? The fitting was a couple of weeks ago. Why? Maybe you should cut down on carbs for breakfast. <laughs> you think I'm not going to fit into my suit? Of course I'm going to fit into Well, my... of course you'll fit into your suit. But if you don't want to look like you're bulging out of it, maybe you can go on a detox before the wedding. You know, like a juice cleanse or something. Actually, they're not as healthy as people think they are. And it's pretty depressing to drink nothing but juice. Especially before a happy occasion like your wedding. Fine! No juice cleanse. But no more cups for breakfast. Come on, Ananya. Three days is not going to make that much of a difference. Hey, wait my dog! My masala dosa. I tell you all, I can't wait to see the James Shirley face when the love of his life, Ananya, gets married to the Kenneth. Hey, yeah, don't be so bad. Please, okay? I'm not the only one. Everybody at the party knows about James and Ananya's history. People are sure to talk. Why? What happened? Nothing. Um, I just remembered that I have to go collect my dress from the dry cleaners. It'll be a disaster if I forget. You mean you were invited to a KSUH party and now then you tell me? Why? I also not sure whether I want to go or not. Fun wa. We can dress up, go for free dinner and not just free dinner. Free floor. Dress up? So legit. Oh! Can you be more fun or not? You haven't taken me out to Park Thong in such a long time. Every day, just stop about Thai Pong. Why? Thai Pong is fine, why? I heard you are invited to the KSUH party. <laughs> Must be a mistake. Jealous, bro? It's because Lo and Ang is doing so well, huh? Lo and Ang is going down the drain. Well, your good friend James told me himself that you leaving the company is the best thing that ever happened. Ha, huh, let's go. Don't forget who you're talking to, okay? I'm in charge of the Vietnam project that you're working on. If I want, I can change the main con. Just like that. Oh yeah, Mr. Big Time Consultant. Do you seriously think that you will still have this bo liao job if your father-in-law is not the board member? Why? Not happy ah? Come on. Aya, Aya, can you please both stop it? You're done? You can't be done. You can't do this to me. I was just finalizing the run for the wedding and you have key roles to play. <sighs> okay, look, just tell Louis to take over. Something happened between you and Ananya. Excuse me? That's the only reason I can think of that. Don't make me remind you I am no longer your wedding planning assistant. I have work to do. Yeah, then I suggest you go get to it. Are you expecting someone, Mom? So, tell me, how did it go with Jimmy and Ananya? You engineered the dance class with them yesterday. Did they take the bait? As a matter of fact, yes. James did ask Ananya to be with him, and she turned him down. Well, I guess that's that then. That is not that. Well, maybe all the dancing around each other all these years did them more harm than good. Things just fizzled out for her. That's not possible. Or she just got sick and tired of his inaction. And there's nothing more unattractive than a passive man. Ananya loves him, Mom. I know it. The length she's gone to just to protect him, knowing that... The point is, I'm not convinced. Well, what can you do? I mean, at the end of the day, the choice is hers. And she chose not to be with Jimmy. 
I already told you so many times not to cho-cho him already. Especially in front of Auntie Mei Wan. Hey, he started it, okay? I'll just happily eat my tahu. Yeah, he started it, but why must you continue? Okay, sorry, sorry. Oh, you already know there is so much tension between Hawk and the Shellys. So what's the point of bringing it up again? Make everybody so upset. What are you trying to prove, huh? That you are right or he's wrong? I guess Pao Mi still wants to take on him for abandoning the partnership. Means what? You are hoping that he will come back and join Lo and Ang? Tui! Is he for him? I know it's not easy. Friends for so long. But we all have our own lives now. It's time to move on. Okay, fine. I promise at the party I'll stay far, far away from him. Maybe we should forget about going. Hey, you were the one who wanted to dress up and wreck your free flow. Leh. Plus, it's good for me to network. Yeah, everybody there will be exactly like the Shelleys. Maybe it's good to network with more normal people? Maybe. Oh yeah, my boss uh, has been asking me to go with her for hot pot. Why don't you come along? Maybe she can intro you to my GM? You know I can't say no to hot pot. <laughs> Just tell me why you turned him down. Louis, I'm not discussing this with you. Are you still in love with Charles? <sighs> Just mind your own business. You guys obviously still have feelings for each other, so what gives? Yeah, what makes you so sure? Not many people would do what you did for him. Yeah, and neither would he. You don't think James loves you? He asked to marry you twice, if I count correctly. The counting was correct. But what's wrong is he didn't ask me to marry him, only to run away with him. Once when he was desperately trying to get out of things with Emily. He wasn't trying to escape from anyone yesterday. Yeah, well, maybe he just doesn't want me to marry Kenneth. Or, or, or he wants a stepmom for Maxine. Hey, you'd be the last person I'd pay for Maxine's stepmom. Thanks. Look, I mean, you're so busy. Louis, no offense, but I don't think you Shelly men are capable of love. What? I'm offended. <laughs> you may think you're in love, but you're actually just running away from something or you think you're rescuing some damsel in distress. Or in your father's case, marriage is some merger acquisition or business deal. But in effect, you don't know what love is. I'm sorry about yesterday. Inviting Ivan to you over. There was no way you could have known. But the way you were with him yesterday... Nothing happened. You know what? I'm not going to let him hold this over you. Because when Razali... Put that away. I'm cancelling the article. Let the article run. Lumi and Everyday Soy needs it. I'm sure Louis will be on our side. If I just tell him... You will tell him nothing. <laughs> Sugars are carbs. Sugar is the only thing that makes coffee drinkable. Remember when Deanna was in charge of making sure that the family's diet didn't go completely haywire? Yeah. Mm. As your wife to be, that responsibility falls on me now. Fine. Creamer is not carb. Yeah, it's not. It's just mostly palm oil and whatnot. Sorry, Vito. <sighs> On the plus side, you get to enjoy the pantry coffee machine's coffee in its full glory. <laughs> Honestly. If it wasn't for Ananya, me and my kids would be eating junk food every day. So, in a sense, it's good that she's looking out for us. Hmm. She's like the RSM of the house. Really strict mother? No. Regimental Sergeant Major. You can avoid my calls, but you can't avoid me. What do you want from me, Louis? I want you to get your butt to Ananya and tell her you love her. Oh, come on. You were there yesterday. You heard what she said. You only asked her to run away with you. It's never going to happen between us, okay? And you know what? I have made my peace with this years ago. And yet something happened yesterday that made you dredge up all those feelings right back up. So what was it? <laughs>
Look. Okay, I don't know, okay? All right, like, like you got a good reason for every stupid decision you ever made in your life. Well, I'll tell you, because those feelings never went away. They've always been there, and you need to convince her of that. She and Kenneth are good together, that much I know. They've known each other for years. They've, they're just best friends, there's no love there. You're just gonna stand there and tell me that you're happy to let her go off and marry someone she doesn't even love? That arrangement might not have worked for me. But who's to say it's not gonna work for Ananya? Any chance you're heading out now and want some dinner? You're asking me to have dinner with you? Thanks. But, um, I've got to finish this. You need to stop treating Kenneth like a child. And there it is, the ever-blunt Shiro. Okay, I'll butt out. I know you're secretly judging Shiro. Then explain it to me. There are men who are organized, sensible, proactive, and then there are men like Kenneth. Does your fiance know you think he's such a great catch? You know he's made questionable decisions sometimes, like with investing his money. He appreciates that I'm able to provide a different perspective on things. He told me himself. That's what he says. That's what he tells himself. Maybe that's what you tell yourself too. Rickson thinks he can go down to a party and act big. I make sure he shall show himself. Uh. I don't think that's a good idea. He better enjoy this Vietnam project while it lasts. Don't worry, I won't cause trouble. I only need to spread one small rumor about his company. That's it. Nobody will want to work with him anymore. Th that's exactly what I'm afraid of. Huh? All these people at the party, Daddy's business associates, all they do is gossip. They're just gonna ask about us, our marriage, our plans. You mean you don't want them to know you can't have kids? But they'll find out anyway, what? I have barely accepted it myself. The last thing I want is for people asking me about it right now. Okay then, forget about the party. We'll have our own party at home. Really? <laughs> But you've been looking forward to this so much. It's not important. Protecting you is my number one priority. Sarah, I just don't know what to do anymore. Well, it sounds like they've pretty much given up on each other, so... I guess nothing. And what she said about Shelly Man being incapable of love? <laughs> Give me a break. You know, my therapist told me that the relationship we have with our parents pretty much dictates the way we view our own relationships, so... Sarah, that's brilliant. What did I... Hello? I'm heading down the road. It's easier for you to pick me up there? You just missed the turn? and ended up on the expressway. Oh, Jules. Oh, well, I'm already waiting here. Drive safe. Celia? Ivan, what are you doing here? I feel that yesterday we got off on the wrong foot and I just want to apologize. Apology accepted. Goodbye. Wait, I just want to talk. I have nothing to say to you! Celia, wait! <laughs> Celia, are you okay? Please, Ivan, just please leave me alone. Let me help you. Please, no, please, no. Come on, what's wrong with you? No means no, you big creep. How dare you push me? Hey, you back away. Young lady, I'll have you charged for assault. You're the one who should be charged for assault. 
sexual assault. What are you talking about? Auntie Celia, tell him. Are you referring to that night? Yes, I am. It never left me. I asked you to go home after work. It was late. You said you wanted to stay. And then I offered you a drink and you said yes. You were clearly giving me signals, laughing at my silly jokes and I thought... I never gave you signals. I wanted you to stop. I told you so many times. But you said it in such a playful way. I said no, Ivan. What does no mean other than no? Okay, okay. If I misunderstood, I'm sorry. You didn't misunderstand. You raped me. But that's just your own opinion. All these years, I felt dirty and ashamed of myself only because you made me feel that it was my fault for putting myself in that position. Come on, Celia. That was donkey years ago. Just move on. You'll be a happier person. Hey! You don't get to tell her what to feel, you sickle! And you should mind your own business. I have half a mind to publish my review of my horrible experience at this co-working space. Do that. And I'll make sure I tell everyone what you did. Go ahead. Tell them I raped you. I don't care. My conscience is clear. Who's going to believe you anyway? Have you got proof, huh? Yeah. I've got proof right here. You can publish your review if you want. But I'll post a recording of everything we talked about online and people can decide for themselves what really happened. How about that? Oh, and FYI, people are a lot more woke than they used to be. You want to take your chances? Get out of my sight. I never want you near me, my son or his business ever again. You got that? <laughs> Darren is right. It'll be a good change for you to get out there and attend the KSUH party. I thought, you know, there'd be an opportunity for Lux to get involved. You need to continue your work to empower women. So you use Lux to groom your employees into sugar babies? We never forced any of them into it. You have me and your family behind you now. Since Lux is moving, it's a great chance for a fresh start. Do you trust me? With my life. Talk to Ophelia. Leave me out of it. It's my fault! Yes. Mummy Eunice, do you agree, right? Your brother doesn't have the stones to go for the woman he loves, but somehow it's my fault. I think Louis has a point. You owe it to James to admit your failings as a father. Have you lost your mind, boy? I've never failed at anything in my life. Indeed, Derek. Of course you haven't. I'm not blaming you, Dad. I'm just stating a fact. James is this way because of you. No. It's your fault for not getting them together. Blame me for your failings. Can we just figure out a way forward for those two? I am not wasting any more of my time listening to this crap. Get out, the both of you. Jessica, I put Ophelia and Lux to work for me. She's not some shop girl to help you with selling your knickknacks. She has better things to do. Just talk to you. You can tell your daughter that Lux will not be involved in whatever nonsense she's planning for her office party. You know, it was a brilliant idea to record that creep. Actually, it was a blast. That was a bold move. Sorry, I didn't get my act together. No, 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 no. Don't apologize. I really couldn't have done this without you. You know, my ex-husband, he came to the house to look for me after our divorce. And I guess I learned that 
there was no way to protect myself unless I had some kind of proof. Like in case he tried something funny. You know, I don't know how I can thank you enough, Sarah. Go ahead now. I'll wait right there. You were supposed to find James a woman to remarry. What's the status on that? I can't deal with this. Set up a lunch with your best candidate. I want to meet her tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, last minute, I know. But at least if she makes the time, we'll know how serious she's about all this. It's not my fault James is so screwed up because of that. The wedding is in three days, Louis. Don't give me problems. Give me solutions. Why don't you try and talk to Dad? I was there just now. I'm not wasting any more time on that crusty old mule. We need a different approach. I know someone who sits on the board of the hospitality group that owns the hotel. Stopping Ananya and Kenneth's wedding is not going to do anything. We need James to wake up and by extension, Dad. I'm going to make some calls. And it's going to be lit. That's what you kids nowadays say, isn't it? Uh, sure. Anyway, I thought maybe I should be the one planning it. It's a woman's job anyways. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Nina. I'm sure Ananya would appreciate that very much. Yeah? Mm. Great. Great. I'll go get started. OK. Yeah. Bye. See you guys. Bye. See you. So, we can't sabotage the wedding, but we can sabotage Kenneth's stag party instead. I don't know. It, the word sabotage just doesn't sound like a very good thing. It is when it's for a good cause. Trust me, I'm doing Ananya and Kenneth a favour. <laughs>